Welcome back to Assault on Dragon Keep. Joining me this week is Alexander Von Koopa. Good morrow. Kane. Hello. And Onyx. Present and accounted for. And today we are going through the forest. And all the quests we have for it right now. I got potions and Which is uh, Denial Anchor Initiative, post apocalyptic and uh, what was the third one? It was something about... Oh, armor. Yes, the ar Ellie's armor. But right now we're doing some shopping. But we're full on ar we're full on, full on ammo, and you know I've got all you know, good guns right now, so we're good on that. Um, so this is the forest of being eaten alive by trees, yes? Yes. I'm noticing a distinct lack of being eaten alive by trees as of right now. Uh. Oh, be thankful they're not going the evil dead route. Ugh. I have not watched that. Don't. Okay. Well, I'm not really I'm, a fan of. Oh. I knew I shouldn't have trusted trees. Well, armor there you friend. go. Trees, trees are, are the devil. High armor class, low armor class, high damage resistance, natural armor. They're nature's killers. Yes, yeah. yes they are. The tree ants, especially. There's these little stumpy things that really aren't much of a challenge at all, but still kind of annoying. Yeah. So they're like twig blights. Something like that. <laughs> You better watch out for those stumps, they might come at you with a knife or something. <laughs> well, right now they just kind of burn, and that's kind of all they do. Most trees tend to do that. Yeah. There's a... Well, there's a little story to my cackle with twig blights. Oh. <laughs> Slippery log in 4th edition encounters season. The lost crown of Neverwinter. And the Minotaur f crit failed his athletics rolled, so I started playing Blood Bowl, which is a football football using the Warhammer you figures. Find the jewel on the ground. Maybe the and left it to Mark Cottrell. Then we should follow the jewels that lead us right to her. Yeah, what Big Lily Style said. Just stick to the main road and you'll be ace. This is a rich queen. Yeah. Oh my god, frickin' fairies. Actually, the pixies are... Oh, uh, well, first let uh, Kane finish his story. So, crit failed the athletics check, so I had him roll a scatter die, and he ended up on a twig blight, so I said, you know what, let's roll, and... Yeah, he managed to crush the twig blade under his fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not the that's not the craziest thing he did. There was the dwarf Chuck using using Cliff's dwarf, who newbie knows through yeah. ponytails. And yeah, it was funny. Uh, where are you going? We're exploring. So right now we're on the main quest and we're going down the side path. That I only balance the combat on the main path and help. No. Oh, oh boy. shit! Oh boy, unbalanced combat, my favorite type of combat. And Listen. yeah, it's slightly unbalanced. I'm level wait, wait, wait. thirty-one. How in the hell are we supposed to kill these things? Ah, my bad, my bad. I'll fix it. I can. Let me fix it. it. Boom! Combat balance. All right, there we go. Yeah. Basically, we had a fighter trapped in a slime that I had ninja crawl across the ceiling. And Cliff decided, you know what, my character can heal. Throw me at it. Crit success on the athletics. So, yeah, basically, Dwarf got chucked into the... Dwarf got chucked into the slime. Fighter goes flying out. And he's like, I'm okay. Keep hitting it. <sighs> Alright. So, we got through that side path, and this is... Most of the quests are kind of in this... A lot of the quests are kind of in the same area, and this is the place where we get L's armor. Before the sorcerer turned them all into skeletons, they ought to have something in my size right here. Damn! Looks like somebody hid the armor up in that there tree. Might want to give it a Which little tap so tree? The goods. This tree. Right over Battery. here. Duh. Punch it. And there we go. It's that's That ain't armor. Have you seen me? That little scrap wouldn't cover half a tit. 
exercise, it ain't like the bad guys are only gonna aim from the saucy bits. Find me something with some more heft to it. Finally, a lampshade hanging. Yep, very Whoa. much a big old lampshade. <laughs> uh, oh, World of Warcraft. Yeah. This is... The, the sad thing is I've actually seen playthroughs where people actually went with that armor. So this is kind of the quest that separates the men from the boys. Now that's what we're talking about. Bulky, protective, and 100% badass. You got a choice, my hoes. Do you bring Ellie the bulky armor, or do you grab the more boobalicious metal bikini for her? The choice is obvious, isn't it? Oh, well, of course. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, we're not, you know, shameful, we, sexist people. We have some class. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm trying to figure out the multi-class into. <laughs> oh, that is a <laughs> that, that flew over my head for a second. Oh, jeez. Oh. We rolled a 19 on that loot chest, so that's actually pretty good. Oh, yeah. Right there is actually better than the pistol I have right now. That purple mm -hmm. one. It's a TD orbit. It does like 200 extra damage, so it sounds like a plan. It's got more ammo capacity. It's a little slower fire rate, but... Yeah. Hey, and it throw, when you throw it, it explodes like a grenade, like every TDR weapon. And I I actually like TDR weapons. Not everyone does, but I, I, I tend to like them. Yeah, I found... I'm doing playthrough of Borderlands 1, and playing as Roland, and I just went and found a corrosive revolver. Mm. Oh, yes. And my comment on this is, oh, fuck yes. Absolutely. Oh. Let me put it this way. I'm able to run up to someone and put a round into their head before my shield dies. That's how you do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, for... Alright. So I press shift to sprint, and then I'm like, ooh, I want to check my inventory, so I press tab. And shift tab is the shortcut for opening up the Steam interface, so... Uh, I'm sorry about that. Eh. It happens to everyone, and tree out to your side. Yep. Yeah. That's an accom... Oh. That's actually an accomplishment, newbie. You found something bad about playing on Steam. Well, I'm not exactly the world's biggest retractor, but if you want people to find something bad about playing on Steam, you can probably, you know... Someone will probably post in the comments why you know, people don't oh, play yeah. on Steam. That is a very rapid-fire thing. Yeah, I actually found a better pistol than the one I just <laughs> talked about a little earlier. It actually does, like, 1100 damage, and it's a, J it's a Jacobs, and it fires as fast as I can pull the trigger. Oh, so it's made out of wood? It's kind of silver wood type thing, yeah. Magic wood. Did you order? I forget the full thing. It's it, this one's actually a Jacobs. No, the full comment by Marcus. And TDR doesn't make their guns out of freaking wood. <laughs> right. So I actually forgot something over in this area. In post apocalyptic, there's actually a crumpet over in this area. It's down at the bottom of this well for some reason. And oh, that sucks. The way to bring it up is you just, you know, just pull this thing. I have food you... stashed all over the festria in case of food emergencies. Yeah. Crumpet emergency. Yeah. You forgot the crumpets, you monster. Uh, you notice I, I took a little... Ah, ah, oh, sorry. Nice. Worst thing when you're recording and you accidentally bring up the Steam interface. Mm -hmm. That That will probably happen... Yeah, a few more times in this in the course of this let's play unless I decide to change the shortcut so that doesn't happen anymore <laughs> well does this game make you hold down the shift to run or can you just press it and have it run I I think you can actually just press it but by, that's for, how by it is. force of habit by complete force of habit I just hold it down well. yeah well that was a thrilling encounter oh yeah the new pistol's working out all right, and phase lock with, you know, uh, Cataclysm Siren is still as awesome as ever. Yeah. Yeah. I don't seem to be having the, you know, awkward awkwardness of combat that I was having in the first episode with the skeletons. But that's probably because these combats aren't involving skeletons, which seem to be the bane of my existence. Follow me. I believe the queen went this away. 
yes, the queen, I went this way. He doesn't hey. sound like a pedophile. There must be some way through. Wear some C4 and blow that blow that thing apart. This is orcish, right? That's too simple. Hmm. You're right. It says you need to bathe the artifacts in the juices of blah blah blah. Whatever. Hmm. Looks like you just need to collect some blood fruit. What the hell? What's a blood fruit? It's a squishy thing that grows on the trees over yeah. So you see that thing in the distance? That big yeah. ominous red glowing thing? Yeah, at the base of that giant tree. Well, we gotta get it over there. But first, yeah. more crumpet collecting. And I think it's going to be really hard to get over there. Blah blah blahs are hard to find in this day and age. <laughs> Ah, crap, there were a bunch of spiders in this, you know, side path with the one quest objective that we need. Oh no, who could have expected this? I still wonder, how does the Black Widow poison affect your shields? That is a good question. I don't know, I think, like, the venom, like, they try to bite you to inject the venom, but it just kind of splashes on shield and starts to corrode it. I mean, it's it's pretty hardcore acid. A wizard did it. Okay, fine. If you if you want to be lazy, a wizard did it. Or, take a shot. We're in a medieval setting. Of course, a wizard did it. Well, actually, literally, there's a, you know, the handsome wizard, the main antagonist of this DLC, did it. Also, the DM, but <laughs> multiple weird. times. So I'm like, you know what? I want to bring out that new shotgun and maybe that sniper I haven't really been making good use of so far, and. You actually got it to deal with a new enemy type in this area. Ooh, I'm sure uh, a sniper rifle in cramped quarters is going to go over really well. Well, I've got this little hill, and, you know, these orcs are walking around currently not... Oh. They, well, they weren't aware of me. And I'm so good with a sniper rifle! Oh! Free. Uh. Yeah, I'm good with a sniper rifle when they're being held perfectly still up in the air. I think anyone would be. <laughs> yeah. I am. So I believe I have the correct comment for this. Orcs, 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 ah! <laughs> Hold it! Oh. Out of all the references they made, I'm almost ashamed there was never a wog. Yeah. Where there's a wog, there's a way. Uh, well, to be fair, you're doing pretty good for a humi grot. The boys need more meat for <laughs> So orcs are like the first enemies in a while that actually use guns, strangely enough. But they also use axes and, you know, pole arms and whatnot. But at any rate, here is the third and final crumpet of the area. Tina, I, I love this. you to do me a favor and eat some salad. No, 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 no! Morty, huh? hold her arms. Rick, no, no, keep her mouth open. No! You don't touch this! You can't! Oh, wow! 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 Don't let her bite you too hard, Brick. She gives a taste for blood, we're gonna have problems. Well, I guess that would be an inversion of get the DM a pizza, force the DM to eat. Salad. Stop yes. Me. That's kind of a twist on it, I guess. Yeah. I've always had a theory. Cheetos and soda aren't snack foods if you can live off them for months at a time. Apparently crumpets are neither now. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, this guy. Holy yeah. shit. This, the Whoa. Warlord, which can apparently level itself up almost at will. This looks fun. Yeah, this is gonna start being trouble real fast. Uh, don't feel too bad. Orcs are made for fighting and winning. Yep. Well, I'm not gonna die that easy. Except they don't. Nice. Except, as as Games Workshop says, there are no those orcs that themed in music. They never existed. Duke, 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 Duke of Orc, Orc, Orc. Yeah, this is the final, I guess, the final form of the leveling up warlord orc. And right now he's five levels higher than me. He's got. Uh, he's got that jumping attack that just ruins my shields every single time. I'm throwing these transfusion grenades to try and keep my health up desperately, but... Well, <sighs> There's the well, log. Yes. Well, that's 
That's just what you get for being of the House of Gluster, or... I'm bad at Duke of York references. <laughs> That's bad. I wasn't gonna even try that. He must be the king. How can you tell? He's the only one not covered in slag. That works! Despite my best efforts. That works, that was a good pun. Nice. Uh, okay, so where were we? All right. Yeah. So now the orcs have kind of been dealt with, and for some reason, once that happens, the tree ants and the stumpies come out to play. Those freaking opportunist trees. Well, I right. guess, I guess you know, if it's you know, orcs and well, nature have really never gotten along in fiction, and I guess this isn't an exception. So you weren't stumped by their arrival? No, I kind of figured it out really. Oh. <laughs> Ba -dum -ba -ba -dum -ba. <laughs> <laughs> Still, I'll I'll take these over the freaking Duke of Orc any day, any day. Especially the Stumpies. Well, it looks like you only rolled one die there. Yeah, I for in kind of my rush, I forgot to do rolling twice. I just rolled the one, and I only got like a what a three. Well, yeah, that was a three. Yeah, You've so... You've got priorities. Yeah. You've got... You've got priorities. There are cheese trying to eat you, and you only have time to roll one dice. <laughs> I just don't have the time to roll two. Are you crazy? I gotta shotgun these, these trees in the face. Fortunately, the, these two... The, that tree hunt over there seemed to be kind of distracted by an orc off in the distance, so... So they do seem to actually be kind of mortal enemies. They will attack each other if, you know, you're so not actually getting aggro. So you're saying they've got an orc and big problem? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sure, I'll take that. Yeah. With all their gnawing, biting, hacking, scratching, burning, who wouldn't want to go uh, kick some orc butt? Yeah, that's true. Pretty darn much. Barum. Wait, is this an actual lake of blood you're swimming in? It appears to be, and we're collecting blood fruits now. Wait, oh, we are right next to an orchid camp. Beautiful. Which actually grow on the tree ants. Whoa, you didn't say the blood fruit grew on the tree ants. Well, they do. Think you're cool enough to grab the fruit without killing the tree first? Well, I think I am. It's not really that hard. All you have to do is walk up directly in close quarters walk and up. walk grab. up, grab, back up. There we go. And you're getting pounded. Fortunately, though, I've got the two pixies there, which I didn't, you know, kind of forgot to explain first off. Um, in the forest area, you can, if you can catch the pixies, which are kind of elusive and hard to grab, but they will kind of give you random buffs for a little while. It's pretty nice, especially the speed, speed buff. That's always good. Mm-hmm. But even then, you know, Treant's still kind of Critical. giving me a little trouble. Especially with these little electric blue orbs that follow you. That was always just... That well, beautiful. it's only the natural evolution of allergies to pollen. And mm -hmm. I have I have faith in you. That's less funny than you think. Wait, you mean I was supposed to be funny? Oh, hell. Didn't you get the memo? I think I may be in the wrong LP, you guys. Oh, dear. Yeah. Well, you're fired. We might just have to punt you off. Okay. And here we're making all these puns, too. Yeah. It's quite a punter storm, don't you agree? Uh, I wonder how many oh, hey, million uh, punishment jokes we're going to hear today. Three, four, eight? I don't know. How many can you take? At a maximum, two. Well, I don't know. I've got a low threshold for punishment. Waka waka. Oh dear. Lord. You're you're never gonna be in this LP again. You realize that? Yeah, pretty much. I figure I may as well go out with a bang. Was it worth it? Oh yeah. Well, you know what? Whatever. We got the blood fruit, so that's all that matters. Now you can open the door to Moria. Yay. Well, we're Good. now. Just say Melon. That always works. 
So we needed to use the blood fruit to kind of smear it all over these symbols, which magically opens the door somehow. Yeah. Everyone knows that green means stop, red means go. Yeah. And the rat go faster. Well, at any rate, this gets us into the next section of the forest, which is the immortal woods. Which is kind of significantly different from just the forest. Okay, well, Thresher's tentacles. Oh no, that sounds like that's going to be fun. Morty, you look different. Yeah? Oh, it's the... Where's your party? Your little party friend. Tina, we told you what happened to Bloodwing. Mm, mm. So anyway, she's so cute. Where is she? Let's just play the game, all right? Uh, that was probably so, really feelsy, but I didn't play the game, so... Well, did you watch so, the introduction? A bit of it, yeah. Well, Bloodwing's kind of... And it's common knowledge that, yeah. All I got from the introduction was explosion. <laughs> Roll for initiative. But they are cheap. Uh. Yeah. So. Don't you envy Tina and her innocence? I. Not when it. Hey, wait a minute. Is that that sniper rifle over there? That looks better than the one I've got. It's corrosive, and it's a Vladoff sniper. Hmm. Well, it can't help but be better than that last sniper rifle, which failed to kill an orc when it was standing right there. We've also got some new enemies, which are these human knights. And oh, oh yes, that's much better. This much is a good better. decision. Oh, this is... My faith in sniper rifles has been reaffirmed. TD or swords. Is it a free auto sniper? Yes, it is. That's not. That's not. That's not every click I'm making. That is. That is full down. <laughs> that's, okay, that's, that's a, a pretty good rifle. Yeah, we're. Does the it. scope give you night vision? Uh, you guys are the worst. Oh, I'm not even Check at the top of my game that right one. now. Yeah, if I go down, you're going down with me, you guys. <laughs> I suppose that's fair. I dragged you into this. And I can take you out of it. Uh, also, some riveting commentary here over the grenades and respecking. Uh, I just saw the class mod and I was like, you know, I still need to kind of think about changing that. And I had one that was like, it this plus three to the rec skill. And what's rec? And it's, oh, it's in the healing tree, which is useless because I'm soloing this. So. <laughs> yeah, I did find a class mod for Roland first game that gives team ammo regeneration. And then I somehow managed to lose it before I saved. Mm. Much to my irritation. Well. So... Yeah, I lost the ammo regeneration, but luckily my turret does give me some ammo regeneration, and I can, I can just sit there regenerating ammo. Whoops, we're out of time. Yo, See you no. later.